conference today at Stocktronics Incorporated, New York's leading new technology firm. Founder and CEO Dr. Baxter Stockman was on hand to unveil his latest innovation. A wise man once said, build a better mousetrap and the world will beat a path to your door. I say, let the path beating begin. For I, Dr. Baxter Stockman, have designed the solution to the city's ever-growing rat problem. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the ultimate expression of rodent termination technology, the Stocktronic Mouser. My lab assistant, Miss April O'Neill, will release several rats into the simulation chamber. April. And the Mouser's search and retrieval functions are all ingeniously controlled by a remote mother computer. Hey, guys! Look at this! And the police are completely baffled by this daring bank robbery boldly executed in broad daylight. If anyone has any information, the police urge you to call the Crime Stoppers hotline. So, anybody want to take a wild guess what did this? And the authorities are completely perplexed by the destruction of the Stocktronic building and the sudden disappearance of Dr. Baxter Stockman. And in other news, more sightings of a vigilante wearing a hockey mask are being reported in connection with several brutal attacks on the notorious Purple Dragons gang, alleged to have underworld connections. At a Brooklyn warehouse where the Silver Sentry has defeated and captured the criminal mastermind known as Dr. Malignus. Any comment on the incident, Silver Sentry? I just want to say I couldn't have done it without the help of my new friend and ally, Turtle Titan. Welcome back to continuing coverage of our top story. Here's a recap of the events of the last eight hours. As seen here in our exclusive footage caught on home video, a blinding flash lit up downtown and surrounding areas, apparently projected into space. The origin of the flash was the TCRI building, where senior correspondent Alex Carlin is standing by. Yes, Dwight, the scene here is tense in front of the still silent TCRI building. What the? It's happening again. What in the name of... Is this the vanguard of some alien invasion? Or is this the end of life as we know it? With innocent victims caught in the crossfire of rising gang violence, the police are warning the public to stay off the streets in much of the city. And now for news break. Con man Harry the Schlub Parker is being moved to Rikers Island Prison. Over the course of a four-day crime spree, Parker made off with over a million dollars in diamonds and other valuables. File this one under B for bizarre. Eyewitnesses to the strange escape of Harry Parker say that he was helped by machines that came to life. Now the police have two suspects in custody. Leo! Master Splinter, you two up? Shh. Meanwhile, in other news, an unexplained wave of gang activity is sweeping through the boroughs of New York. How long before they knock on your door? We'll have the full story when Channel 9 News returns. These innocent victims in unprecedented gang activity increase violence. Imposed curfew has failed to stem the tide of violence. Several innocent bystanders were rushed to the hospital after they had been caught in the crossfire of more gang violence. It's the fifth wave of gang activity. Is... Victoria, your inability to recognize the truth when it hits you over the head never ceases to flabbergast me. This is obviously a gang war on a citywide scale, with the factions vying for total control. Ivan, your scare tactics amaze and amuse me simultaneously. This is no more than a few random clashes between gangs in a small-scale turf war. You have once again proven yourself to be a complete and total loser. In the third such event in the last month, a freighter has disappeared without a trace in New York Harbor. This brings the total number of ships mysteriously lost in this way to 15. This is the emergency broadcast system. We interrupt this program to bring you critical information. Today, the unthinkable happened. Earth no longer need question if there is life on other planets. It is here, and we are in the full grip of an alien invasion. Is there any way for us to defend against this assault from the stars? Or is this truly the end of the human race? This was the scene moments ago in Times Square. Reports are coming in from all over the world. We are being invaded by some extraterrestrial force. Inhabitants of this planet, 
You are now under my control and my command. I am Zan Raman, prime leader of the great and glorious Triceraton Republic. Here are demands. You will immediately surrender to us, Professor Honeycutt, a Futatoid, or face annihilation. If you give us the Futatoid, we may spare your pathetic lives. Deny us, and you will be destroyed. You have ten Trigons to comply. News from the front! The tiny backwater planet called Earth has become the latest beachhead for the glorious Triceraton Republic in our war against the evil forces of the Federation. Our courageous troops are on the verge of recapturing the Fugitoid robot, whose plans for a teleportal device will win us the war against the Federation scum. Our forces conquered this silly little planet with ease. The Homo sapiens never knew what hit them as our boys started their search for the rogue robot. Let's see that bucket of bolts avoid capture from this multitude. And if those foolish Earth primates think they can help the future toid, think again, puny mammals! With our energy shield around the Earth, the future toid won't be escaping anytime soon! The four Terrapin monsters that helped the traitorous future toid escape have dared to show themselves. Big mistake! We've captured one, and he's shaken in his shell. He'll tell us where the Fugitoid is hiding. And our boys will be home for horn sharpening day. And that's your news from the front. Not be threatened. People of Earth, you have delayed too long in handing over the Fugitoid. Your time is up. Now, witness the consequences of inaction. No longer, or we shall take your world apart piece by piece until nothing remains. Surrender the future toy or perish. Attention, people of Earth! Since you persist in your defiance by not giving up the future toy, we will continue to remove your cities from the planet and take them apart bit by bit until we find him. Starting with this densely populated island metropolis. Reports are coming in from all across the world. The Triceratons are pulling out. It is over. Earth has been spared. And while authorities still aren't sure why the Triceratons came, or what it was exactly that they were after, one thing is for sure, it's good to be alive. To all the peoples of the planet Earth, and the warring nations that orbit above, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I am Professor Honeycutt, and not so very long ago, I tried to create an instantaneous transportation system called the Teleportal, a device intended to bring people together, an invention to be used for peace. But instead, it has become the prize in an insane and never-ending war. Now I beg the Federation and Triceraton forces to hear me. The plans for the Teleportal are gone. It is because of me that this insane war has come to this planet. And so, it is left to me to put things right. I have completely eradicated the technical specifications of the teleportal device from my memory circuits. Don't move! We got something! A short time has passed since the mind-boggling alien invasion, but New York is already getting back on its feet. Citywide cleanup efforts will take time. Police are urging citizens to not touch anything. There's still a lot of live alien ordinance out there. And some good news, the Justice Force is back in action, helping clean up crews all over the city. Hey, it's my pal, Silver Sentry. You go, Super Dude, you. And in a ceremony today, the mayor of New York gave the key to the city to our newest hero. Entrepreneur and inventor Oroku Saki has pledged his time and unlimited funds to help rebuild our fair town. With friends like Oroku Saki, New York City will be back to her full glory in no time at all. And now to our continuing coverage of the floating Beijing crisis. It's been several months since the invading Triceratons lifted the entire Chinese capital into the stratosphere. The atmospheric shield that surrounds the city has been proven impenetrable. 
the city is kept aloft by a huge Triceraton anti-gravity generator. And while efforts by Beijing's top scientific minds to gain control of this alien technology have been undertaken, the results have proven near disastrous. Must reverse energy flow. With no way in, no way out, and no way down, there seems to be no way to save the poor people of Beijing. A live feed from the university's seismograph rating it at 7.8 on the Richter scale. Closest estimates put the epicenter a thousand miles south of Greenland. Scientists believe that with the current shifting of tectonic plates, we may be witnessing the birth of a new island, or even a subcontinent. With displacement of water so massive, it's dangerously raising the sea level. Unstable temperatures have prompted violent thunderstorms due to reach the eastern seaboard within the hour. It the bank robbers escaped with over three million in untraceable bonds. Thirteen different trucks have been reported stolen in the last month alone. With an alarming recent uptrend in stolen internet money transfers. Apparently, the rare gold coins were stolen as the robbers tunneled into the bank vault from the basement of a pawn shop just down the street. More details are coming in from the alien invasion. The president is safely back in Washington, he spoke to the country from the White House this morning, pledging to renew funding for the Earth Defense Force. I would like to thank the Earth Defense Force for rescuing me from the invaders. And I have their assurance that the invaders will be hunted down. <gasps> the alien threat is very real, and I'm told we're only beginning to learn just how dangerous these creatures can be. But we can all rest easier knowing that the Earth Defense Force will continue their fine, fine work. Millions in high-tech equipment from Neotech was stolen last night in a daring skyjacking. Authorities are stumped by this audacious theft, the third such baffling heist in as many months. Good evening. In a Channel 3 exclusive tonight, the leader of a new street gang, the Turks, has been convicted of attempted murder, as well as several counts of possession of illegal arms. The key testimony of one brave citizen was said to be instrumental in the jury's decision. In other news, a gala tonight. We interrupt this program for breaking news. We now go to the scene. Rumors that the superhero team known as the Justice Force is expanding have been confirmed. Channel 6 News has just learned that while the team has recently added two new members, they plan to continue the drive with hopes of inviting several more heroes into their ranks. The world waits with bated breath as the Justice Force continues the liberation. Justice Force dedicating their lives to the defense of life, keeping the world safe from villainy and harm. And with the addition of this mysterious nano, the Justice Force completed their membership drive. This is Channel 6 News, bringing you at the scene reports of hideous, rampaging creatures, uh, uh, tearing through the streets of downtown Manhattan. Uh, city is under cyber attack. All bridges and tunnels are closed. Telephone service has been disrupted. This is Channel 6 News reporting that the Justice Force has just announced a new member in their ranks. The new Green Mantle. Justice Force, go! And off they go in their never-ending battle for justice. Interrupt this program for a Channel 6 News exclusive. There was a daring robbery earlier tonight at a high-tech Midtown laboratory. A nearby surveillance camera captured this image of four bizarre green creatures. The image of the four creatures is a bit grainy, but even so, you can make out what appear to be four large turtles. In other news, unusual underground seismic activity continues to be reported throughout Manhattan. <laughs> Unless you've been living in a black hole, you know that Helix 2 comes out today. Ultra gamers have been camping out at the Level X Mall for the release of the most highly anticipated vid game ever. In other news, Turtle Titan saved the day again. The origins of our beloved superhero are mysterious, but our city rests easier knowing he can be summoned at any time simply by showing his trademark shell signal in the sky. Yes, our Turtle Titan is one of a kind. 
Welcome to the most anticipated social event of the season, Omiltech's annual gala for Earth's open arms. Hello, I'm Brittany Alexander for Entertainment Today. And everyone who's anyone will be here tonight to celebrate a good cause, the personal vision of O'Neill Tech's CEO, renowned philanthropist, Darius Dunn. Leonardo's turn to drain. If it's okay, Leonardo. <laughs> I'm rapidly becoming convinced. There are some things man was never meant to tamper with. I must be insane. Friends, I need a bug to sell you a car. Mm, mm. Now that's good eating. If that don't tell you I got the best used car deals in town. Welcome, adventure seekers, to another action-packed episode of The Monster Hunter. Once again, I, Dr. Abigail Finn, after I'm done with you, Sheriff, they'll know my name in every territory west of the Mississippi. Now, draw. Look, kid, having people know your name isn't important. Fame and glory aren't worth fighting for. Enough talk, old man. I said draw on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Day, mother. Oh, the usual, Father. Junior has something to tell you. Don't you, Junior? Uh, I got an A on my math test, but I guess I kind of got in trouble for making a face in the class picture. Oh, Junior, with shenanigans like that, how is a mother supposed to raise a family? Justice Force, filmed on location with the men and women yeah. of the world from your hero team. In the 24 hour sci fi megathon! I'm afraid it's true, Kincaid. I'm not your stepbrother. I'm your half sister. Oh! The Galactic Wrestling Federation presents the 57th Slamathon! See all your favorite wrestlers battle it out for the title in a cage match finale! This championship belt is what it's all about! Tonight at Madison Square Garden! Turtle Terror stunned the wrestling universe with his surprise victory at Slamathon 57, taking the battle all across Times Square. No! Please! No! I'm too young! I am afraid I am unaware of the obnoxious moviegoer. Our records of this period in time are incomplete. If the basement is scary and dark... Chad? Quit kidding around, Chad. Cut it out! <laughs> no! Um, not exactly. <laughs> you have disgraced my name. Destroyed my clan, taken everything from me, except for my spirit and my kung fu, both of which I will use to restore look, my name. Look, and the Master clan Fighter's is about to do his angry mongoose cobra shoulder spin. Huh? Wham! Look at that! How does he bend that way? It's not even human. You guys mix it up for real all the time. That's just a movie. I mean, it's just an actor, right? <laughs> 